Je ne sais pas si je vais vous dire que 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 je que Na wakati unatafuta kupasuka na unaweza enda pasi fulani unapiga magoti na umwa umwite yule ale mbinguni be honest to god eh wewe wewe ni mbele ya Mungu tell god god i feel like fast kama kupasuka this man i'm reached me to the place where i cannot huyo amenifikisha pasi ambayo sitakumilia si, si tena God, I give it to you. You feel that God leaves that body. Then you come to him. And ask him. Are you hungry? Can I give you some food? Let this man look at you. And you think. She is crazy. I want to fight. I wanted her to fight. I wanted her to say something. But now she is sweet. She is not saying anything. That man will not take long time before she gets sick. And in the same same verse it says. And her husband too your wife will with respect. Yeah, but when a woman is married, a woman is married. Don't use harsh words. 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 Like packing, you know, like. Eh, you go come and you come to work. Eh, go into It's like I'm here. Eh, you go to the factory. You know, go to the shop and you go. Mama Frank. Eh,
because you don't respect your wife, your wife, and that's why God is not uh, responding to your prayer. Yeah. The, the second, I, I'm just going to mention now. But here is a rock solid trust. And he has been to my man. Mwamba, iko kama vile kutumaini yana hili ambu. It will be that that's uh, what is leading your family. Another, the third one is the one I've talked a little bit about effective communication. Na yana mbao ni zumuzi ya nile komunikasyo mbao yiko efektivi. Effective communication. Komunikasyo mbao yiko ya kila wakati. And the third one is a long one, but now we are not going to. Na hile ingine hatuna munda. And the fourth one is passionate intimacy. Na ile ya mwisho inasema tu ya maisha ya intimacy. Entirete. Kiswahili tunasema hivi. Si tu hapa kuna haki zetu. Eh, we are told that we have our rights. Now. Intimacy, intimacy. Na mimi nadhani watu wa baba ishwa. Yaani kikupendana kidogo. Just to to eh uh, The love in the marriage. Relation sexual. Sexual me too. Musikuwe ande yako basi na chumeze kanda kuchali tena. Ato na kama not not say that we are we are getting all the song we don't love each other. Musikuwe ande yako basi na chumeze kanda kuchali tena. Ato na kama not not say that we are we are getting all the song we don't love each other. Musikuwe ande yako basi na chumeze kanda kuchali tena. Ato na kama Uh, if the, the, the wife uh, gets uh, angry about the man, <laughs> and then he told you about this also. Let me tell you. That is a bad we can use. Even this by about to to me. The Kwasabu Kamu Kaimana Haki. Let me tell you. If you, you don't give each other his rights, Uh, the other one is going to look for his rights uh, somewhere else. Uh, we are grown up people. Uh, we, we can understand. So you can fast to pray. But don't fast. 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 Eh, kama una mwadhibu If you punish him in that way eh, it's a sin eh, iko dhambi mbele ya Mungu Kwa sababu hiyo ndio anasema kama mwili wako sio mwili wako eh, and uh, the, the God for you your husband is not for himself eh, kila mtu ana sehemu ya mwili na unahitaji kufurahia. You need to, to continue with that love. Amen. Amen. Mapenzi tu sio tu mshapata sikia. Mapenzi tu sio ile mkipata watoto sasa tumekuwa. Love it's not a, a, just a, a having children. Kama mkimaliza kupata And when, uh, when you, are, you have children, and you, you say you, we, are, we are old now, you are not old. How old is your mother? How old is your Love cannot be old. Love never fails. And my pen is not going to fail. It will continue and continue. And when you enjoy your marriage, and when you enjoy your marriage, your marriage is going to continue. Your marriage is going to continue. Your marriage is going to continue. Amen. Now I want somebody who has a question. Na kama kuna mtu Other people are laughing and uh, smiling. If you have a question, this is the time for questions. We are going to answer you. We have pastors we have pastors. Uh, uh, you have you have said about uh, We have to respect the, the, the house. 
And we know that the house, the head of the church. The man and the woman and children are the head of the church. If he, there is not unity in the house, so you can pray anything. And even if you pray, uh, if you, you are not in a unity in the family, so even if you pray, you cannot uh, be blessed. And where Satan is taking the family is uh, starting from the family. As we can just see people who are just uh, going outside you know, to the disco and the hotels. Uh, Satan doesn't uh, 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 look at these people. And uh, someone sent a video and say, if the uh, Satan has taken you, the, the father and the, the, the mother in the house, we never come back because he has getting you. And because if we are living in a unit in a house, we can just help the people from outside because they are going to want to be like us. I think uh, something which is strong the word or uh, the, the work of God is the family. Because, because the, 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 maybe the child is from the family starting the church. And the, the, the servant of God is uh, from the family. And everything is from the family. And if the family is, is, is destroyed, nothing will go. And that's where the Satan is getting people. Amen. And that's what I want to say. You want to listen? I want to listen. I want to listen. Because when I read my Bible, I see you took on a challenge to come on a Christ or a Latina song of the Biam. In regards to our children, the Lord continuously reminds us to discipline them. Now we live in a country where disciplining children, and where we know it in Africa, and according to the Bible. So what do we do as Christians? Christo. The Bible also says that authority has been given by God. So whatever authority, whatever the authority says you have to respect. But again, we are raising rebellious children. Lakini wakati tuna tunakomanisha watu kama wao wanakuwa ni wale bene. Ambao unawaambia hao wanafanya zee. How do we how do we do how do we come in the middle of Christianity and then the rules and you know it's for me this is uh, it's a it's a confusing Namna gani tutakuwa katikati hapa kumekuwa jamaa kumekuwa hizi sheria vile vile. Kuna mtu yote anaye anaweza kuchibu. Eh kufuatana na kuelewa yangu. Eh kuharibisha mtoto sio kusema ya kwamba atumpige. Tunajua Afrika tu kwa tunapigwa kwa sababu kama hausikie wanakupiga ndio unafanya jambo fulani. Lakini yana ambao na kitu leo kufanya ni kushuka mbele ya Mungu. Kwa sababu kama hatutii sheria watoto wako watachukuliwa. Hand, 
na kwa njia nyingine wanapaswa kuacha mtoto ajue na unaweza kumwajibisha bila kumpiga unaweza kutumia hizi consequence ambao wanaweza kupata unajua anaitumia hapa mtoto wangu na inatumika ni kwa sababu wanahitaji wawe kwenye internet wanatafuta kutumia simu wanatafuta vitu vikubwa vikubwa unaweza kumwambia mtoto wako kama hausikia na mbona kwambia nitachukua hiyo telefoni kwa na kama na watoto wako watasikia eh kama na watoto wakubwa wanaenda kuproteste yani wata resist na sio kila mtu anajua hii ni kuweka Mungu katika hiyo decision ambayo tunataka sawa ni kitu ambao ni kikuu lakini tunapaswa kuwa na hiyo bala so much pain wakati nasikia kama watoto wamechukuliwa kwenye jamaa na jua kuna vile vile watu ambao wanapiga watoto kama vile adui wakati biblia nasema juu ya discipline huko ndani ya biblia inaanza na Mungu Mungu anasema kwamba anawa anawaadhibu wale ambao wanawapenda. Mungu anatuadhibu na upendo. Acha mtoto wako ajue kama unampenda. Ijapokuwa una una kwa vile vile consequences kwa. Lakini yale ambao wanashauria ni kwamba usipi kwa sababu Biblia inasema kwamba tunapaswa kutii wenye mamlaka. Kama ile haitoshi tutaenda kupata nchi ya Yesu. Eh nchi ya Denma. Na ile haitawezekana. Yeah, I have a question.
expression na sema kwamba kupiga inaharibu kutoka but it's not to hinder the habit it is not to hinder the, the habit lakini haita hata haribu tabia wala kugeuza tabia you should teach baada ya kupiga ufundishe because by teaching she he will know this thing was not right when you take kwa kufundisha atadewa hiki kitu ilikuwa sio kitu but when you beat him you are making him to be aggressive you learn from it ukimpiga unamfanya kuwa mtu wa asila amen teach but not beat kufundisha lakini sikusikia eh i will also add to that you know uh, beating is from the bible the bible and it's a word which is used uh, 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 um no you have to finish it upiga kunatoka kunatoka kwenye biblia kwa sababu biblia inasema inase, upige and they are not christians who refuse uh, the church to be beaten in denmark uh, kuna wakristo wana hawa they are not christians they were not christians who refuse
and uh, sometimes we have we have things that are deep deep uh, down in our hearts because of the way we have been brought up and the way we understand the Bible yes. but being open to learn something new is good because what you want to build is a strong family because the strong family is where the devil cannot so I want to pray for every family which is here. Can we start out today? Maybe there are some who are going through the problems. And challenges. And but our God is going to be able to solve them. To help us. So that we can regain that peace and love again. Amen. Can we pray together? Our dear Father, in the name of Jesus, we just want to thank you for this opportunity, Father, that you have been here. We have spoken about families because we know that it is the, the first fellowship that we, you instituted in the Garden of Eden. We thank you, Father, for these families that are represented here. You know them, Father, when they come out of here and they go home, you know how the situations are at home. We just ask you, Father, that your peace will fill our families, O oh God. Let your presence be with us, O oh God. Help us to include you in our plans. To include you, my Father, even when we are bringing up our children. Because we know it can be a challenge, but there is nothing that is impossible with you, God. Therefore, Father, we want to commit our children unto you. The Bible says that teach the children the way they should go. And even when they grow up, they will not live that way. We pray that help us to put more and more word of God in our children, oh God, so that that word can form them in the name of Jesus. We pray for wives, we pray for husbands, Lord. We pray for the children and the family as as whole, that you may com help us, my Father, to be like a one community, one fellowship, a place where you are in Jesus' name. I cover every family with the blood of Jesus. And I ask you, Lord, that you will guide us. You will lead us, oh God. You will make us to be to succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. And that your love, my Father, may be upon us. Because, God, you are love. Let your love lead us and guide us and fill our hearts. We love you. We worship you. We bless you for this church and Pastor Kapika, Lord. And thank you for his wife and his children, Lord. Thank you for the leadership of this church. Bless them, oh God. And give them more strength, my Father, even to make more conferences, Lord, where we can benefit from them. We love you, we worship you, and we honor you. In Jesus' holy name we pray and we believe. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 Amen.